Hey guys, um, I've tried recording this bit a couple times before and led with, I don't know if I'm going to include this or not, I'd really like to. Um, I'll try to keep it short. It won't be. But on the topic of depression, no, I'm not a depressed individual. I'll lead with that right now. I am not someone... I, I just, as compared to people who actually are depressed frequently, there is no comparison really. But I do meet those people online a lot. And one of the common themes I see is people feeling like they are worthless, like they are helpless. Maybe the world would be better off without them is another one. Um just something I see from time to time. I want to talk about self-worth. I want to remind you how valuable you are. But, fair warning, this will get into my religion. I am a Christian. Um, mind you, of course we all have our own belief system. Some of us don't believe that there is a God. Can't blame you. I've never seen God myself. I've never heard his voice directly. I believe I've received answers from him. Um, in the weirdest, most shit random of ways. Um, but I, I believe there is a God. And I believe he has answered some of my questions. And... Um, I want to share my opinion on how much you're worth through not only ways that I've confirmed God existed for me personally, but also ways that I thought he demonstrated how much he cared about me as an individual and how much that meant. Now, mind you, this is the almighty God of the universe, the creator of all. The, I mean, it is written in my holy book that as compared to God, the entire might of the earth is as a grain of sand. A grain of sand is not worth very much. And that's the entire fucking planet we're talking about. I am not worth much compared to the entirety of the earth. If you're depressed and it's on the grounds of you don't feel like you're worth very much, then obviously you've already arrived at a fairly similar conclusion. So, if that's the case, if I'm not worth much compared to the Earth, and the Earth is effectively not worth very much to God, then clearly I must be less than a pissant compared to this almighty being. It raises the question of why would God bother to go out of his way to affect my life at all? The earth is of no benefit to God. The earth poses no threat to God. Why then, if a meteor is coming towards us, why then bother to stop that meteor? If the sun's going to explode, why bother to stop it? Hell, why bother to form us in the first place? Well, I have a different speech for why everything exists, but I won't get into that. I'm just here to talk about um, how much are we worth to God, which is the, I mean, if you believe in a God, obviously you believe this is the most important entity in the universe, hands down, can't exactly argue with him. Well, I believe my God has 
done things for me and has bothered to answer my questions before. Um, there was a time when my mom and my stepdad were trying to adopt. And we'd had some troubles, but we'd worked through them up to that point. Um, it took a bit of time. It took a lot of getting onto our agent's ass to do what they were fucking supposed to. But we'd been getting her done until then. Um, but we had had enough difficulty that I was legitimately curious, are we supposed to go through with this or not? And so one day, completely randomly, I decide, you know, I should probably ask God if we should go through with this or not. One, two, three, four, five. And, um... So, I thought, well, God's not going to answer me in plain English. Um, just, yes, you should go through with it. No, nah, that's not how he works. Um, so, I figured I should probably devise some form of test, right? I mean, only makes sense. Uh, you know, I'd really rather prefer stone there. Um... Uh, but anyhow, I should probably devise some test to prove that it is, in fact, God answering my question and to see what his answer is on this subject. Um, oh, this has to be there. Look, I now have two pieces. Oh, well, anyhow. Um, so, just over the course of a day, I thought about, what is this test? What should it be? What if the answer is no? What if God's not answering my question? So, here's the test. There is a travel stop that I used to visit frequently after work. And at this travel stop, they have fruit cups in an ice bin every day. You never know how many fruit cups or of what kind there's going to be. Uh, there's a selection of pineapple, cantaloupe, watermelon, um, honeydew is another one. I think those are it. But anyhow, um, so I randomly thought to myself, what should this test be? Well, my test is going to be tomorrow, if we're supposed to go through with this adoption thing. There will be seven, and exactly seven, pineapple, and specifically pineapple, fruit cups in the ice bin. If there are seven, then we should go through with this adoption. If there are two, we should not. And if there's any other number of pineapple fruit cups, God has not answered my question. Simple enough. And mind you, there can be any number of like over 10. Uh, could be like, how there could be, let's say 14 max. But you never know what the day starts off with. You never know how many people are going to buy. You never even know if there's going to be pineapple on any particular day. So a whole lot of randomness going into this just to start. But seven is yes, two is no. Anything else is not an answer. Go to work the next day. And I'm thinking about it off and on, but not continuously. Go to Love's after work, and, uh, well, there's two pineapple fruit cups, and not a damn thing else. Solid no. So, uh, congratulations. A random event has occurred, exactly as I called it, on the exact day that I wanted it to occur on. There were seven pineapple cups, 
specifically the day after I thought this, which is the day I wanted it to happen, no other time. Yeah, that's mathematically unlikely, but can still occur, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. So we've established that. Um, well, as far as the adoption goes, we continued having the problems that we were already having. Uh, not very surprising. But we kept having problems with our agent not getting back to us. The child's agent not getting back to us. Uh, stuff like that. And eventually we discovered that even though we were first in line for consideration for this child, the child was given to another family. So, a solid no. There is obviously no correlation between the number of fucking fruit cups, specifically pineapple fruit cups, I'll have you know, between that and whether or not we're going to adopt a child. One is not related to the other. And yet, the qualifications of my little test were met with a no. And it turned out that it was not possible for us to adopt that child. As unfortunate as that was. God had no reason to answer that question. And you can argue as to whether or not he actually did. I don't blame you. Um, by all means, I can't fully understand the argument of it was fucking random chance. It was possible. But I believe God did answer on that day. I believe he took the time out of his day, if you will, to answer a question of a mortal individual who posed no threat to him had no benefit to give him, he bothered to answer that question on that day. And it means so much to me that he did. Why? I mean, it just proves, even if it's something small. I didn't even need that question answered. I would have found out in a few months anyhow. And mind you, it's not just that event either. It's times like, I'm hot, I'd prefer that there's a breeze. There hasn't been a breeze all day. And the moment that I think about the fact, man, I could really go for a breeze right now, suddenly the air starts blowing. And it hasn't been all day. It's the small stuff that really lets me know he is paying attention to me. Little old me. I'm nobody. You can see my YouTube channel. I don't have thousands of subscribers. I'm not the president of anywhere. I'm nobody. But I believe that God cares even for me. I'm nobody even compared to the earth. The earth is nothing compared to God, and yet he bothers to keep the world spinning. And more than that, he takes time out of his day to answer my questions. Because I'm a curious individual. It's stuff like that that really reminds me just how important everything is. Every ant in every ant colony. Every earthworm. Things that we consider to be below us. I mean, things that are insignificant to the biggest point you can make, well, they're actually very significant. You can't have an ant colony without one ant. Any individual of that colony is, in fact, very important. Without them, there is no colony. Without you, the earth would not be the same. You as an individual, without you, the earth would not be the same.
and God, the most important entity in the universe, to which the earth is nothing, to which you have no power, he cares about you as if you were the most important thing in the universe. He cares about everything this way. And I want you to know that. You're not just valuable. You don't just have some worth. The greatest and most powerful entity in all creation that ever has or ever will exist, he deems you to be the most important thing in his creation. I think that means a lot. And I think you should too. Never call yourself worthless. Never say that the world would be better off without you if you died. No. No, it would not. You represent years of experience. Things that have happened to you that have happened to no one else. No one else will know the events that you've seen unless you speak them. No one else will believe as you do unless you speak your beliefs. You have an impact every day. Every interaction you have with other people is important. It will affect what they believe. It will affect how they behave. It will affect how they interact with other people in their day. You will have an impact and a big one at that. You are very important. Every experience you have You've had thousands of experiences across your lifetime, millions, even. Across the years of your life, you've had millions of interactions, just with various things. Each one of those has been important. Each one of those has made a difference. To replicate you? Yeah, there's someone else that could probably... Someone else could fill shoe boxes like you do. You fill shoe boxes at a shoe factory. Yes, other people can do that. But no one else is exactly like you. To replicate you in every way would take years. Would take thousands of coincidences. Interactions have only occurred to you. Is it mathematically possible? Well... Yeah, it happened once, didn't it? It's not exactly likely to happen again. It certainly won't happen tomorrow. You are unique. You cannot be replaced. Even if someone else looks exactly like you, they're not the same. You have different experiences. I want you to forever remember that you are worth very much. Please never forget that. And if you're ever looking for a random verse of the Bible to read, something that actually means something, my favorite verse that I quote all the time, consider the lilies of the valley, how they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet, King Solomon, in all his glory, was never arrayed as one of these. If God so clothed the grass of the earth, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more are you worth than it, O oh, ye of little faith. You're worth a lot more than a fucking flower.
I want you to remember that. <laughs> 20 minute fucking video. I was planning on being an intro, but... <laughs> Uh, like I said, I wanted to get that out there. So, um, anyhow, getting back to Minecraft, you've probably noticed I've about determined to get 10 red flowers now. But, uh, oh, and cacti. Cacti are great for defense. I'll need a few of those. But, uh, yeah, that's today's little message, I guess. Uh, I want you all to remember that. So uh, thank you for uh, thank you for watching today. Um, I might show some more progress later on in the video, um, but thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. Um, it means so much to me. Um, this is how I'm worth something to people: is by spreading this one message. Um, that's the scripture I quote to many people. I have quoted it to many people. Um, so it, it's important to me that you have heard it. And it's important to me, even if you don't believe in God, I think that scripture is pretty much applicable to everyone. Because, I mean, everyone is worth something. Everyone. But yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching. I don't care if you tell anyone else about me. But I do want you to spread that message. I want you to remind anyone in need that they are in fact worth a great deal. And they will be for the rest of their lives. If they're lucky, even beyond that. So thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for everything you've done for everyone in general. Just thank you. Oh yeah, and uh, while I'm down here. In a minute. There, better. Uh, while I'm down here, I want to show you guys how to break bedrock in Minecraft Alpha. It's real complicated. You need a hoe. And you need some grass seeds. So that's how to break bedrock in Minecraft Alpha. And now I have a significant threat to myself in my little base here. Yeah, I'm totally not going to fall into that of my own accord. Yeah. Okay, so that whole business out of the way, as you can see, I've got my gravel path here I'm working on. I'm hoping to extend it past here and in classic villager style, completely ignore all obstacles in my way as I expand my gravel pathway on that way. We'll probably have a village in that general area built in the style of just the old classic 1.8 villages. Uh, obviously, some lacking materials don't have black wool, don't have a few others. Um, I want to get some fence posts up like they used to have, uh, I think they still do, two fence posts with a piece of wool on top. Definitely want to explore that later. Um, that'll be for next video though. Uh, need to decorate the staircase. As you guys saw, stumbled on a lava pool down below. I'm a huge fan of lava lighting, so look forward to that in the staircase. Uh, daylight tubes. I'll explain that next video, um, but that's for detecting daylight while I'm underground, uh, being able to know when it is or is not safe to come back up. 
definitely need to make this operation a lot bigger. This is, as you can probably tell, uh, where storage is going to be, bulk storage specifically. As you can see, I've already started clearing out one wall for decoration. And if we come down all the way to bedrock, da, 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 I plan on clearing up my little bedrock path here a little bit. Any piece of bedrock that's not, or any piece of bedrock that is on top of another piece of bedrock, I want to, uh, no, 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 I, yeah. Any piece of bedrock that is not on top of another piece of bedrock. So this piece here I want to get rid of, clean all that up, glass on the bottom so I can see down. And as you can see, I'm thinking about a cactus farm down here. I would have more of these placed, but I want to, not that I really need to conserve lava. Anyhow, I want to turn this whole area into some kind of dungeon themed thing, but that will require more planning. Um, it's not a torch to match that one. Okay, much better. All right, well, uh, yeah, that's why I have right now and why I have planned. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I hope you have a good day. Woo!